So uh, one man who's experienced what it's like to live through that recession, certainly the, the last one we had in 2008, uh, and start up a business, actually who says that without that recession, his business wouldn't even have been a success, is our next guest on the programme this morning. Kevin Haswell runs Really Awesome Coffee, joins us now on BBC CWR. Morning, Kevin. Good morning, sir. How are you? I'm very good. Thanks very much uh, indeed. So what? So prior to the banking collapse, 2007, 2008, what were you doing? I ran a uh, my first foray into business out of university. I ran a company called Windscreen Repair UK, and we repaired the little stone chips and cracks in windscreens in vehicles. And we had a it was a small franchise network around the UK, and that was what we were doing leading into the 2008 2009 recession. Right. So uh, that obviously was hit then with all uh, the 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 banking collapse, uh, and then you thought, all right, I need to to start again. Um, what made you decide uh, to to start a business on the back of a recession? And why the business? Really awesome coffee. What what made you think that was the business that would be the way forward? Well, the rebound windscreen repair UK up in two thousand and nine, and I had some retained earnings from that that I wanted to do something with and not just spend on, on living. Hmm. And so I was keen to do something quickly and I realised how much money I was spending myself on coffee, but hmm. probably around £2,000 a year, um, you know, two or three cups a day, take out, drink in. And I knew that there was only pence in that cup, but I was spending £2.50, £3 on the drink itself. And I could see that the coffee industry just hadn't been impacted in the same way that a lot of others had during the recession. So I started, well, I decided I wanted to do something with coffee. I had a look at coffee shops, didn't like the risk profile, um, investing everything all in one location, hmm. not having to control on the footfall outside uh, outside the premises. And from remembering back to The Apprentice many years before, where they had a little uh, electric van with an espresso machine and decided um, that it would be a good idea to put the coffee shop on wheels and therefore give us the control to aim it at where we knew there were um, queues of people waiting for us essentially to cash in on all the demand that the high street had created for gourmet coffee at uh, cost of Nero, starbucks etc but yeah. fulfill that demand where where they can't fulfill it so rather oh. than compete with them head to head to fulfill that demand where we knew there were people um, so, you know, waiting for the service so you looked at a a gap in a market you you worked out what the risk was you thought that one location and paying rents and all that was too Risky, clearly thought, all right, you need to do coffee on the move to make money. You took a, a huge financial gamble, I know, didn't you? You remortgaged twice, got a bank loan on top of your own savings to make this work. Indeed. How many vans have you got now? Um, well, we run two ourselves in Coventry, um, but we've got a network of just over 60 vans now dotted around the UK, right okay. the way up from up in Glasgow down to Portsmouth on the south coast. So it's it's been a strong growth, a strong growth over the last over the last decade now. In fact, the first coffee van traded um, one week today in 2010 in Coventry. Really? So we're okay. nearly on our 10-year anniversary. Happy anniversary uh, for that, Kevin. So uh, if there's a message uh, out of this, uh, this silver lining, if you like, from this cloud of recession we've heard about this morning, what would you advise those who are out of work to uh, explore and maybe do for themselves? I know it's, it's going to be very difficult. Um, I've got out of not a positive, but um, a different experience to most in business during the coronavirus lockdown, being a, a network of mobile food and drink delivery um, vehicles, if you like. But I've got a partner whose business is shut down, Adam's Gymnastics um, in Leicester, and my mother's business is shut down. And I know it's very difficult for people. And it's gonna, there are going to be lots of redundancies, hmm. lots of people losing their jobs. From someone who's always run small businesses, I would say that if you're being made redundant, especially if you've got some savings or some funds have been made redundant, uh, available sorry, via the redundancy, um, take a look at self-employment. And whatever you do, whatever your experience is, uh, whatever you would like to do, there's very likely to be a franchise network out there in the UK that has created a system, uh, made all the mistakes, refined the process, and there will likely be a franchise out there for you. It's a good place to start. It removes a lot of the risk. Um, and I know the job market in particular is going to be say, particularly tough for people with a number sure. of redundancies, number of losses we expect to see. 
Kevin, uh, thank you very much indeed. Great to hear your success. Happy anniversary, 10 years on in really awesome coffee and hopefully a salient uh, lesson for us all there in terms of maybe thinking about uh, the future, certainly for many who'll be feeling unsettled by this news this morning. Kevin Haswell uh, from Coventry uh, with the, the really awesome coffee business, which he says wouldn't even have happened unless there had been a recession back in 2008. As Britain enters another recession this morning, 